Hagger's a local spook store. The Scratchin' Hag. Comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Welcome to... to... Oh dear, Mr. Wake. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. Hey! This is really good! Rose. Yes? My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Barry! What? What? It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. Rose took a day from me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. She's right. First refill is free. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do. Specialist about the complex thinking. incantation I'm attempting. Nice about this day. place. She's come back with another writer soon. under similar circumstances. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here to You're gonna get it now. Ah! 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 
God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Nicole I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Give it up, Mr. Wake. Come on. Take it easy. This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. I imagined that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to see. I wouldn't get through it. There was no power to the searchlight.
It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. KBFFM with Pat Main. It's Milt Peabody, Pat. What's on your mind, Milt? I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Come on in, Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Nowhere to run now, Sam Brown. You back away from me. Don't hurt. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. Dude, freeze! What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. I had fallen off so many cliffs, it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. There was no sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. Hello? The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. It keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone. 
alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger. And it was taking over every moment. As a teenager, just starting to get interested in writing, Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story, certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer.
never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. The coal mine wasn't far now. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man would clutch at a straw. Little by little, without realizing it, I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the dark presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real but it matched a textbook case of insanity. Mm. 